Hello, hello, everyone. I want to look into this article that I found. Um, Brian Koberger's attorneys warn people's lives may be in danger in Idaho murders trial. Now, I have not yet watched the last hearing. Um, I'm a little behind on everything. I made a post the other day about this. I'm going to hopefully be back to true crime in the upcoming week or two. I'm not stopping it. I see a bunch of people asking if I am. I'm not stopping it. I just had to kind of catch up on life. So that being said, I don't know everything that's going on with this right now, but this article struck my interest. Let me put it up on the screen. Now I'm really small. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go through the article and then pull cards as we do. This is an energy reading. It's all alleged. My opinion, not fact. Spouse and partner came out. Let's leave that there for now. Okay, so Brian Koberger's attorneys warn that people's lives may be in danger in, I in Idaho murders trial spouse, partner, and political. Okay. So the statement is Brian Koberger's attorneys warn people's lives may be in danger in Idaho murders trial, spouse and partner and political. I have a confirmation road. Road evil exposed. Spouse partner political on the road to exposing evil on the road to exposing evil of how politics are somehow connected to why people's lives would be in danger. Is that fair to say? Oh. Hmm. Law enforcement and organized crime. So Brian Koberger's attorneys warn that people's lives may be in danger in Idaho trial in Idaho murders trial because they're going on the road to exposing the evil of how politics are connected to why people would be in danger, law enforcement and organized crime. Keep going on the article. Prosecutors also said that Brian Koberger did not stalk one of the victims prior to the killings. Good. So not stalking. So what do what else do we need to know about him not stalking one of the victims? Evidence. Ooh. So in, in my previous readings, I said something about him potentially wanting to figure out what information the girls had and vice versa. Evidence school. Corrupted media source in reverse. Is it fair to say there wasn't stalking, but there was an attempt at some form of communication? Fear, accomplice partner. Not direct communication. Is it fair to say that Brian was trying to ac get access to the girls through a different means other than directly? Uh, tunnel in reverse because of what they knew. Um, Brian Koberger's defense attorneys have warned that people's lives may be in danger during his trial for the University of Idaho murders. Mr. Koberger 29 years old, is accused of killing, oh, 
Hold on, let me get to where it's saying. His attorney and Taylor filed a motion with the prosecution on April 4th requesting that discovery request to be placed under seal because the documents contain facts or statements that might threaten or endanger the life or safety of individuals. What can we know about documents and what they contain in terms of facts or statements? Yeah, let's do that first. What can we know about what's contained fact or statement wise in these documents? Money in reverse, supplier, faked death in reverse. Real death, supplier, money in reverse. Facts or statements that might threaten or endanger. They don't want people to be able to follow the money of what was going on in the background that led to the unalivings. Church in reverse. They don't want people to follow the money towards what led to the unalivings. Church in reverse. That's where they don't want it to lead to. We've gotten that card a couple times at like interesting moments. Um, church and supplier. What do, what do we need to know about the church um, in the area where this happened? Communication in reverse, embezzlement, false. It would be false to assume that they're not getting something out of it would be false to assume that it would be incorrect to assume that they're not getting something finance wise finance wise over concealed communication or things that the public doesn't know. Death in reverse. Family in reverse, yes in reverse, no. I don't know how that translates in, in context of the unalivings, but it's like, oh. Is it fair to say that the church or people within are using their authority or connections to protect certain people that may be on the outskirts of what happened here? Female in reverse. So a male. Brian's potential alleged possible accomplice. Dating connection. All right, we're going to keep going. Um, so how would those stay? Oh. Because if you could see how someone that Brian is connected to is also connected to something that's being used to protect people. That's not how I want to word that. If you could see that Brian is connected to an individual. That individual is connected to an organization. That organization is connected to how people are being protected from certain things that went on on the outskirts of what happened. If you follow the money, the money is going to then lead to another, another point, and that's what they're covering. They're covering where it goes next after... Uh, this organization. Is that fair to say? Regret in reverse. Don't want to have regrets. This is handcuffs in reverse. Facts or statements that might threaten or endanger the life or safety of individuals. What can we know about 
might threaten or endanger the life or safety of individuals. Mental health, danger, light in reverse. What they're worried about is founded and they wouldn't be able to stop it from happening. Allegedly. Um, did I say this is all alleged? My opinion, not facts. I don't remember if I said that or not. All right. Um, the motion warns that the full release of discovery, quote, would constitute an unwarranted invasion of personal privacy. Okay. Power supply. Drugs and poison in reverse. Power supply, drugs and poison in reverse. Dis would constitute an unwarranted invasion of purpose, personal privacy of someone who's in a position of power to distribute drugs or poison. Um, so how I said, Brian connected to someone who's connected to an organization, organization who's connected to something else. It's almost like they're connecting the person who they're protecting the person who's connected to Brian because of who that person is connected to, not because of who that person is, not because of that person's connection to Brian, because of that person's connection to another party and the money follow the money would lead to that. Is that fair to say? Desert, lack of resources, parental figure in reverse. Oh, desert, you see it and it's not there, like a mirage. Parental figure in reverse, the link. I have a direct confirmation. If Brian is connected to another individual, that individual is connected to an organization. That organization is helping to protect the individual who's connected to Brian because that individual that's connected to Brian is also connected directly to the link. And if you follow the money, it'll lead there. Home in reverse. Oh, it'll lead right to their front door. Justice karma in reverse. They're trying to evade justice by not having the investigation lead right to the person's front door. In response to Ms. Taylor's motion, the state said the release of discovery evidence could, quote, disclose the, oh, disclose the identity of a confidential source. Okay. What can we know about, um, so the state release of discovery evidence could disclose the identity of a confidential source. What in the discovery would lead to the confidential source? Meeting, psychic abilities in reverse. A meeting that they don't want people to know about. Could disclose anything of a confidential source. A meeting they don't want people to know about? Stranger. A meeting they don't want people to know about. The world and the sun in reverse. It's not over, but it needs to be left in the dark. Stranger. Is it fair to say that someone came forward with some kind of information, not about Brian, but about someone who's connected to Brian in the context of what happened? Fraud. Fraud what? Blackmail.
in response to Ms. Taylor's motion. So she wants them placed under seal. Blackmail and fraud. Spiritual arrogance, that's the wrong deck, but spiritual arrogance, revenge in reverse. Revenge exposed, blackmail and fraud. A meeting they don't want people to know about, a stranger. Blackmail, fraud, revenge exposed. Disclose the identity of a confidential source. What information did the confidential source give? War in reverse? Oh. We're in reverse and trafficking. Is it fair to say that someone came forward with information, not necessarily about Brian, but about things that are going on that may have some role in what happened? Crossroad in reverse, the end of the road. Caregiver in reverse, outside in reverse, inside out. Would constitute an unwarranted invasion of personal privacy. Is it fair to say that the unwanted invasion of personal privacy is an individual who came forward with certain information about things that were going on around the house that they don't want that to come out in court because then their case against Brian wouldn't be so strong. I guess maybe people believe it's not that strong, wouldn't be as strong as they believe it is right now. Um, Ann Taylor wants it placed under seal. That one makes sense. What am I not understanding here? Power in reverse. Imprisonment. AI in reverse. Real information about someone who could get locked up for an abuse of their power. It's almost like Ann Taylor's trying to form some kind of strategy, but not wanting the other party to know or like be able to see it coming to put the fire out. I don't know how that translates. Real information that could lead someone to prison that was abusing their power. Let me see what the rest of this says. I don't know all the way what this was supposed to be meaning. It feels like I don't even know how to word it. How do I word what I'm thinking? Portal, confession, grandparent, a long time connection, allowing the energy to come through. Is it fair to say that someone gave information, but in the information they gave, they could have gotten in trouble themselves for something, but there's some kind of deal so that they don't get in trouble, but we're still able to give the information, but the information isn't ready to be scrutinized yet because then it would give a heads up in terms of something that Ann Taylor plans to use strategy wise. Republican, the taking taking the leadership role. Not playing nice. Let's see what the rest of this article says. 
The filing comes as both parties returned to court last week where they argued over the defense contacting Leta County residents to determine whether the jury pool could be biased. What can we know about the jury pool being biased? Secret in reverse. Accident. Couple. Secret revealed about how that's connected to something else accidentally. No. Mail. Oh, no mail. It's a survey by mail, right? Contacting residents to determine whether the jury pool will be biased. No mail accident. Final ending. I feel like it's not going to pan out the way that Brian's team wants it to pan out. Um, I feel like it's going to go that decision in the direction of the prosecution. One second, someone's at my door. Okay, caught confession in reverse. I don't know if they're going to say like, the results of it won't be, I don't know. There's, it feels like it goes in the way of the prosecution's desire. Um, Bill Thompson questioned a defense expert who performed the phone survey, pointing out that the survey was loaded with questions and some are factually incorrect. It's false that Brian allegedly stalked one of the victims. He added that the expert should not go around screwing the knowledge that prospective jurors may have or may not have. Oh, okay, so that's what we just got. The, the, I feel like the prosecution's case that they argued in this um, session is what ends up being chosen. Um, crit oh, criticized the questions last week, calling it a total shock to him and said, because this is a big deal and I take it very seriously, I was surprised that this is happening behind our backs. Uh, okay. What else do we need to, what do we need to know about what Brian was thinking or feeling? Um, no, what, what was he thinking about during the last court session? Danger, drugs and poison in reverse, desert. Um, this is like I'm getting ready to make a bold move and I feel like it may put me in a dangerous position. Legal proceedings, okay. I'm about to make a bold move in court and I'm worried for my safety. I don't know if I have the resources to fight against the danger. Okay. Bio weapon. Um, when they were uh, talking about whether or not Brian stalked any of the victims, what were topics that were in Brian's mind? Death in reverse, family in reverse, flight in reverse. Can't take off, not family. That's in reverse. Talking about him not stalking the victims. He felt like that was going to convince his family or, or, or almost like he feels felt as though that may have been a factor that made his family feel like he did it. And without that being a factor, they'll be more prone to believe him. Lightning doesn't strike twice. Why did I say that? 
secret government program. Lightning doesn't strike twice, secret government program. Is it fair to say that this last court appearance, Brian was thinking of all the reasons that his family may believe that he does do this, and there's something in the last court appearance that made him feel like they may believe him now? Handing the key. <coughs> One second, I have to cough really bad. Oh, let me clear my throat. Oh, and I told you so to his family. I told you I didn't do that. Distraction. In my head, you were in your head before. This will help shift your perspective. All of you. Is it fair to say he feels like that statement of not stalking may have gotten him back into the good graces of whatever family member he feels like could have possibly gone against him? Collapse in reverse, secrets kept in reverse. So secrets revealed, restoration. Secrets out, restoration, I told you so. Break up in reverse, getting back to get, coming back together. Um, all right, let me do one more. What is, what is the topic that was most heavily on Brian's mind as he was sitting at the bench at the last court appearance? Inside in reverse, so inside out fraud, exposing fraud as in follow the money or fraud as in exposing things that are being said by the prosecution in court that he does not believe to be true. Psychic abilities in reverse, fear, accomplice partner, inside out fraud. Brian seeking to find a way to expose who he's connected to in a way that doesn't make him have to admit guilt or present as guilty knowledge in a way that can be used in court. Work. Comment deep fake in reverse. Mask off of someone that he worked with, two guys working. What was the topic that was most heavily on Brian's mind last time in court? How can I find a way to interject who I'm connected to without putting myself into a dangerous situation and or without making it so that doing so just makes it so that I'm found guilty with beyond a doubt? Collapse in reverse. I'm trying to find a way to come back to life here. If this is on track, can I have a confirmation from each of the four? Um, Maddie? M-U-R-D-E-R -E in reverse. So Maddie, yes. Uh, Kaylee, power in reverse. Shining light on the abuse of power that right now is in the dark. Zana, stranger, shining light on the abuse of power that is right now in the dark. Okay, can I have a confirmation from the four? Yes, we're here. Shining light on something that was previously in the dark. Stranger, someone that people are not talking about yet. Ethan, 
angel's ancestor. Oh, that was the whole message from start to finish. We're not gone. We're still here. Brian was thinking of shining light on someone, something that's left in the dark about something that's not being talked about yet. I have a confirmation from the four that that someone is the link. Weapon, travel. So what's being referenced in my mind right now is in previous readings, and I don't know where, how long ago this reading was, but I was getting something about the weapon, the knife. I wish I knew how I worded this. I think I worded it like the, the, the link somehow getting hold of the knife almost to be able to use it against Tim if she needed to. I, I don't I don't know. But that's what's being referenced right now is the link having the knife. Timeline issues in reverse. So having it right after. Confirmation. Oh, female in reverse. That's we get that card a lot for the link. I don't word this. Um, does the person that I've referenced as the link currently have the weapon used in this crime? Organized crime. So Brian trying to shine light on her having it. Oh, but if he if he says that it's guilty knowledge. Break up in reverse. That's the connection. I'm going to go back and find my previous reading about that and I'll look at that and then do a reading on that as soon as I have a chance to. Um, I have two cards from Xana as like a password of this reading or a confirmation that we're in the right direction. Five vibes in reverse. No. No low vibes. I have a confirmation from Xana that we're on the right track. There's no low vibes. So yes, ego in reverse. Ego, so not me. No low vibes. Directly filtered information, directly chosen cards. Is that the message? Life insurance. Double meaning. Is that a double meaning? Double meaning. Good. Okay. So I said double meaning. Is that a double meaning? Life insurance. Is it fair to say that Brian needs someone else to come forward with information about the link? Because if he does it, it's guilty knowledge. And then he's not going to be able to get out of a guilty plea, even if he takes the link down with him. But if he, if he gets someone else to do it, then there's a way he has in mind to separate himself from it or, or, or make it so that he gets a lesser, I don't know what the plan is, but is that it? Revenge in reverse. So I can't get personal revenge, but I want to get 
you caught. So is it fair to say then that Brian needs someone else to come forward with information about the link because he cannot or it would be guilty knowledge? Final ending. If I come forward with this information, I'm sealing the deal for myself. I need someone else to come forward with this information. And that's the confidential person that they don't want the information to come out about. Mind control in reverse because there'd be no way to control the narrative. Because of who that person is connected to. No. No way to control the narrative, but not because who they're connected to, then why? Not because who they're connected to, but reptilian. It's almost as if like someone intends to come forward to give information and then ends up having to change their mind, like rewriting the story of what they were supposed to say. I don't witness. Oh, just like Dylan. I think I'm going to stop here so I can make sure this reading is not confusing. I think I'm getting bits and pieces and it's making sense in my head, but I don't know if I'm translating that right. Almost as if someone came forward with information that was supposed to lead towards the link, but then ended up either taking some kind of deal or not giving the information for some reason, maybe intimidation, maybe they didn't want to hear it. Medical emergency in reverse, emergency avoided. It would, uh, it would be, for example, allegedly my opinion, like if someone had information to give that led directly to the link or something like that, and they finally work up the courage to do so, but they give it to someone who ends up being corrupt and it goes the wrong way and now they can't try again and there has to be another solution. Burial in reverse. So you have to stop in order to find a new way forward. And burial in reverse. I gave information that could bury someone or like bury someone and it wasn't taken. Is that what this is supposed to be? Confirmation from Xana. Royalty. Oh, oh, queen. Oh, that'd be a confirmation from Xana. I got to watch this back and make sure it makes sense. Um, if not, I'll do a follow up. Uh, please remember, this is alleged, my opinion, not facts. Um, I will talk to you soon.